Hello friends, tutorials about Maya are a little bit tricky because many people complain that they are too difficult and others complain that they are too simple. I'm really sorry, it's a very complex program and uh, I did beginners tutorials and quite complex ones and one thing I cannot show you because I always start from scratch is complex scenes. For example, how to animate uh, a, a character talking and then walking through a hallway etc. I can do that, but uh, this is far too much for an 8 or 10 minute video. Well, having said this, I want to show you this animation here. And it's very simple and still it involves some thinking. What makes the effect here, that, that black spot, is this light here. And this light, as you can see down here, has four keyframes. So it kind of moves a little bit up and then it slowly moves all the way over here and then it stays there. This spotlight is quite special because uh, these are the keyframes here. It's quite special because it does not have an influence on the floor. And I'll show you this now. Let's render the, just this frame. So the spotlight sits here and creates this effect here. Let's actually go a little bit further so we see the black spot better. The spotlight sits here and it creates this effect here, but it does not have an influence on the floor. And I'll show you how I made this, because usually all lights light the whole scene by default. I go to Windows and here I have Relationship Editors, because it deals with the relationship between geometry and light. And uh, under Relationship Editors you have the light linking and you can choose either light centric or object centric does not matter for me because the scene is quite small and lean and here you have the only two lights I have the sky dome light has everything here underlaid with blue so that means the sky dome light light reaches all the geometry in the scene that is this surface and the ground plane whereas the, the point light only reaches these things the NURBS sphere and uh, a lofted part of the sphere and not the NURBS plane, not this thing here. When I activate this by just clicking on it, you see that the shadow changes. We have this shadow now here and uh, I didn't want to have it because I don't want a moving shadow from a moving light. I just want to, this is the um, shadow again, I just want to have the effect on this surface. So. Um, just keep an eye on this edge here. Now I deactivate the NURBS plane again. And you see it's gone. So it's uh, it's this effect here. So this is light linking. So I choose what light has what kind of influence on what kind of geometry. Now um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you is I select this and right mouse click material attributes. Here I see that it's not supported by the, by the GPU because it's an AI tune shader. It's a tune shader. You can see that from that rim. In order to make the tune shader work, you need to start with the render settings. The render settings are here and in the Arnold section you have under filter the contour. If you leave this as a, uh, at the default, which is the Gaussian, you don't see the the rim here, which is typical for a tune shader. So let's activate the tour, a contour again, and then I have my black lines here, which I can change the width from two to four, for example, so they are looking much thicker. I cannot change the appearance though of the of the of the black rims I do this here in the tune shader settings there is one speciality which makes this kind of glossy whatever shading possible and the the moving black spot here and that is down here in the uh, AI tune shader you see that I under specularity I open the weight of the spe specularity to one that is 
maximum specularity. So it has lots of reflections. So it looks actually reflective here. Without the tune shader, it would be like very glossy like metal. Or, well, not really, but uh, like a very glossy material. When I reduce this weight here, specular, it only has a, a bright effect of the light, which is a nice effect too, by the way, with all these Geom geometrical details here, quite nice actually, and no influence of the light on the floor. So I chose a maximum specular weight and I introduced a tone map and that's the only trick here. Uh, so you can see that there's something here and this is the basically the shader you see here. When I change the red to a blue and this is what changes now and the yellow to red etc that's very simple so you see the rim is changing here when I change that black here or just move it over here the whole effect here is totally different because I need this black on the right hand side in order to create this kind of effect here finally the geometry the geometry comes from a tutorial I did about attaching a NURBS surface to a polygon surface. This was a polygon disk. This was a NURBS sphere, which I cut into half, which I opened half-wise. And this is a loft between the two of them. And then the whole thing is a combination of the two. And you see they work. The combination works quite nicely. And um, the object, I smoothed it quite a bit here and the deformation comes from this deformer. It's a very simple thing called wave handle. It's a non-linear wave deformer. You find it actually under animation and here you have deform and here is non-linear and here is the wave deformer. It starts with an amplitude of a zero so you need to crank up the amplitude just a little bit and as you see here this is the node for the for the shape and this is the actual wave which I animated and the amplitude currently is set to 0 0.1 very small amplitude but still when I raise it I get this effect here it's quite subtle now and uh, the wavelength is interesting too because it it is about the frequency of these uh, up and downs here when I raise the wavelength the frequency goes down and now you already see the original surface sort of so this was the half uh, nerve sphere this was the polygon disk and this is the bridge between the two of them that's all there is and now for something completely different be seated a nice tutorial I did in July 2019 to it doesn't have to do anything with the tutorial you just saw. Bye bye.